Hey guys, this is Amazing Tech. Lately, we have seen some great launches. The iMac 2021 has been officially launched. So this is the box, rather a large box compared to any that I have unboxed earlier. So gone is the wedge-shaped box that previous iMacs have shipped in. So the new iMac ships in a flat box like this. So I've got a blue iMac. It's neat with a blue nylon handle at the top that is easy to carry. Overall, the design changes starts from the box itself. So let's get this Mac out of the box. And open the box now. See the two blocks of cardboards on the sides and also one at the bottom. Just pull them apart to release the lock so you can retrieve the 24 inch iMac. And you can see it is protected with multiple layers. For now, Let's keep it aside and see what else we have here. All other accessories are hidden under this layer of the box. Let's take one by one. So here is the magic keyboard, the standard size without the touch ID. Has a lightning port to charge the keyboard. Apple has included a lightning to USB-C cable for charging the accessories. The design of the cable looks excellent. It's a braided cable. And there is the magic mouse. There is the magic mouse which as always looks elegant with the glass top. Here are some paperwork as usual. So this is the power cable and it has a braided design which looks excellent. Uh, maybe this braided cable design might become part of all the new Apple devices. The interesting part here is the accessories, cables and everything else matches the color of the iMac. The Apple surely know how to impress. Now let's have a look at the elephant in the box, the iMac 2021. It's nothing that we have come to see in the past. Let's remove the outer layer first to expose the next layer. The protective shield has a hello printed on it and the text color matches the iMac's color. So let's peel off the protector to show the screen. There it is. So this is the first time in a decade the design has gone through such drastic change. It's flat and slim around the frame. And the back, it's all covered in blue. The front panel has white color frame with a blue chin as white as an expressway, which I hated at the first look, but chin is where the speakers are. Hopefully it grows on me. The iMac is a tad bit thicker than an iPhone. That's it. That's how Apple has taken its engineering prowess to the next level. This design is the result of the introduction of M1 chip in a Mac. It makes the iMac so thin and compact that it is just 11.5 mm. So that's what you call a thin iMac. On the bottom right side, 
Apple managed to include a 3.5 mm headphone jack. The back panel has a dark blue color shade with a power button at the bottom left side of the frame and two lightning USB ports on the bottom right. The power cable gets magnetically attached to the back of the iMac power connector. So now it's all set to power up, but let's have a look at the iMac as a whole package. This is a futuristic design, no question there. But with the arrival of M1 chip, every device from Apple is going to become smaller and thinner, more portable and faster. When the M1 chip is able to integrate the processor, graphics and memory into one single chip, such transformational changes are definitely possible. The iMac stand look great and smooth to the adjustment of the display. You can adjust the display just back and forth, but I would love to be able to adjust the height as well. So let's power this up, shall we? Very standard power on screen. And you can log in with your Apple ID. Then you have it. There you go. The Big Sur desktop. The display is 24 inch 4.5K retina display. I think this is one of the best display that Apple has put on an iMac ever. So there is no question about its quality and color reproduction. It's bright, clear, and it looks incredible. I found no problem editing this video in DaVinci Resolve. It was smooth as butter, but the rendering was great. It has a 1080p FaceTime HD camera that improves the quality of the video call. You've no more problem with those video calls from work. In 2021, iMac has gone through some significant upgrades since more than a decade. You don't pay a lot of money to get one of these this time around. Thanks to the M1 chip, it's light, thin and fast. Everything about this iMac is great except the bottom chin, but I'm sure many of you will like it. So if you're looking for a desktop computer to edit your pictures, videos or just play games and you don't want to spend a lot of money, this might end that search. Thanks for watching.